to give you some perspective here, we're in that neighborhood close to a playground. And then right behind this playground is some woods. There's a clearing and a path that leads directly to railroad tracks. And on the other side of those railroad tracks is Atlee High School. Crime insider sources are saying that the person that was hit was a minor. They were under the age of 18. Hanover County Sheriff's Office has not confirmed that just yet. So we don't know exactly how old this person may have been or if they even lived in this neighborhood. But here's what we do know. We do know that the train involved was CSX train at 781. That's a freight train. And we know that the train company Buckingham Branch Railroad made the initial call about the pedestrian hit. Now I reached out to that company and they are not commenting at this time. CSX referred us to the railroad company for comment. Now we spoke with a few people who live around here. They say students that live in this neighborhood walk through the woods and over the train tracks to get to school. A, one woman who lives here said that the train does not not run on a predictable schedule and she said she's heard the train horn sounding off much more frequently and she heard it go off this morning right around the time that kids walk over the tracks to go to school. I hope it isn't a kid. I hope it isn't. But just, you know, with the time of day and it just makes me sick. It just makes me I don't know what to say. It's just a horrible, horrible thing. Now we were able to confirm that there is a fence that is here in the woods behind the subdivision, but there is a clear end to that fence and a wide open space. That path that does lead right up to the train tracks going over toward Atlee High School. And when we went back there today, we didn't see any warning signs that say no trespassing, anything like that. Again, crime insider sources are saying that the victim was a minor, someone under the age of 18. And I did hear from a source that we may find out more information about the victim likely after the end of the school day at the end of school activities. And of course, as we work to find out more, we'll update you on air and online. In Hanover County, I'm Elizabeth Holmes, CBS 6 News.